We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Yeah, I thought this shit. was her too. Big shit, big shit, big yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm I'm she go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say, damn, she can rap. Name another podcast like this. We're gonna bring it to the table. Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We're gonna do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, official Mr. Maker down here in Houston, Texas, man. Well, go on, you know, Madel, but y'all gotta remember, y'all please like, subscribe, follow, share content, check out our new Patreon um, channel, subscribe to our membership. I mean, check out our website, www.bosstalkpodcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Y'all check it out. Man, we got hey, we got a special guest in here today, man. This guy don't need no introduction, man. Hey, man, baby Sam is in the building. We in Houston, Texas, man. Up, he done welcomed up? us with open arms, man. Let us come down here and grace graced us with his presence. Uh, we feel like we're accomplished now. So what's up, baby Sam? Man, I don't know, man. I'm just here. Man, you just here. Yeah, I'm just here. Man, man. we got to go back down through that, man. I know the last time we met, we probably been putting that thing out and didn't get put out. So, Mr. Maker, take him down through there. Okay, baby Sam, you know, I want to know, born yeah. and raised, because I heard a little bit about it before, but, you know, right. as he said, you know, audience didn't hear about it. Born and raised. Where you born and raised? I'm born and raised right here. Houston, Houston Texas. Texas? Houston, Texas. So, you genuine Houston. What part of Houston? Southwest side. Southwest side. Yeah. Love Houston. Would you ever move from Houston? Um, nah, like li leave to live, nah. Leave to live, nah. Why not? Cause ain't this is what it is, man. Everybody copycat what they see right here. It's all right here. The Texas is just Texas. Period. It ain't just Houston. It's Texas. You know what I'm saying? Cause when when Dallas came with that dancing shit, then we seen it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They, you know what I'm saying? We started that slow down shit with the double cups and shit. That's all we see. So it's like, see, why we gonna go with that? So you still listen yeah. to screw music? I listen to everything. I'm a cultivated nigga. <laughs> you got them old school cars look, I mean, riding low? I got an old school. Um, I'm still putting together right now. But yeah, man, I love the slab culture. Yeah. And uh, what you call that? Swingers. Like, with the swingers. You got swingers on it? No, nah, I ain't putting nothing on that yet. I'm still painting the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pop you know, truck. They still popping truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, when I think about Houston, that's what I think about. Yeah. I mean, it's the culture. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's... Is is what a lot of people um, I wouldn't say they copycat it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that they see that they grew up to. You know what I'm saying? I grew up loving it. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine when you see it all these years later, and then you know they try and change it up. Cause I knew like ESG was saying back back when I was coming up, you couldn't like driving with your hat on your head and You're then right. whoop, cause certain stuff would get you pulled over. Mm -hmm. So like now you can just freelance and on your matter. It makes you wonder where is it gonna go in the next yeah. ten years? Is it yeah. gonna even exist? Is it gonna change? Are they gonna hold that culture to you know? I think it's gonna still be here. I mean, it's you been here so? this long, yeah. So let me ask you this question, and you know, cause I'm gonna cut a couple things short. So you have kids? Yeah. Okay, you know how as we get older at the stage that we're at, you look mm -hmm. back at your life and you see some knucklehead stuff that we did when we was younger. Right. Because we have a different frame of mind. Nobody could tell us none, whatever. Right. Looking back at a younger self, mm -hmm. what is it that you did that you're like, man, I can't believe I really did that, but nobody could have stopped me from doing that. But if I knew then what I know now, I probably would have. What, what is that thing that you would have done differently? Yeah. Because some of these young uh, kids watching this show and they growing just up like you. Be a D boy. See, when I was young, I used to have a dream in my head that I was gonna have a slab with a head full of waves and a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I got a song that tell you that. You know what I'm saying? I just my dream was just to leave my son a slab in the brick. That was but real. where did you get that idea from? Because I feel like music has a big what part I, to play in that. What I grew up seeing, what was around me, my okay. environment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's like when I, when, when I left Houston, it just made me look at the world different. You know what I'm saying? Everything changed, everything different, people different. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just, you know, the, the way people look at life is different, the way people live life is different. So it just made me up my eyes to a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to just see it, just think that was it. You know, I mean, you know, I ain't thinking that far when you come from the hood. You know what I'm saying? When you come from the street. So how did you bump your head? Um. I ain't gonna say it really just bumped my head. There's a bunch of mistakes I made as far as, cause I ain't ever been in jail before. So I can't say, you know, bumped my head, but it's a lot of things I learned from from Bumping people. head don't always have to be with jail. Bumping right. head could have been like, you out there hustling, you doing your thing, and when you should have been over here doing something right. else, and because you wasn't over here, something went wrong. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, 
you know, choosing the route that I took, you know, hustling, thinking that that was it. But the whole time, this rap shit is what it is. It made a lot of people pay attention to, you know, me and whatever they feel like I am to them. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to sit back when I was trapping and just ask God, like, what's my purpose? You know what I'm saying? I'm good at damn near everything. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, what's my purpose? And some shit I just wasn't interested in, like, steady working a motherfucking job every day. Mm-hmm. But then you talking about you said the rap is the thing and the street wasn't. But you mm-hmm. have a lot of people who still rapping that in the street because they mm-hmm. say that it's, the rapping ain't pulling in the type of money they need yeah. to do the thing. But the streets is so they yeah. can't leave that alone. They got to right. do both. Well, I'm, I mean it, it's what you want out this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's what, 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 what you know about the business. You know what I'm saying? You can get paid off this shit without doing too much. You know what I'm saying? It's like thinking too thinking too hard, studying too long, and you still get the wrong answer. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, once you learn the business and learn there's multiple ways to make money, then shit, rap, rap, pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worked no job since I've been rapping for like four years. I ain't working no motherfucking job. And you can pay your bills and you're good. You got yeah. money coming in. Mm-hmm. That's good. See, well, I guess you need to share that to your fans, to all of these young... I Have mean, you ever pulled up some of these young kids and be like, hey, somebody you know that's maybe in the streets or whatever and be like, hey... Yeah, I talk, I, talk, I talk to people all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Generator Baby. Um, he, he used to all just doing this thing right now. Um, I was just talking to him the other day just about some stuff that I seen, you know, just between me and him. Like, you know, when it comes to South by Southwest this year, if you if you work your, com- your campaign and market this way, that's going to be it for you. Like, I'm not a person that look at somebody and feel like, damn, if I tell him that, he going to win. And then I'm gonna be looking now. Nah, I'm the type of person gonna tell you that and I want you to win. You see what I'm saying? Cause it's like just the little things you don't know about the business and music. Like people are gonna take music and just drop it, but it ain't registered. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got the right stuff behind it. Like you don't got the sound scan and all your shit together. So really, you wondering why your money ain't coming in, but yeah, I can go pull you up everywhere in the world, but you ain't got no money off of it. Cause you ain't got a registry that ain't going the right way. Your distribution might be all off. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot to learn about the business. You can make a lot of money just knowing a little shit. And what God have for you, God have for you. So it really don't matter. But um, how much does God play a part in your life back then compared mm-hmm. to now? Man, God is everything. This whole journey been spiritual. Like, <coughs> if I eat on something and then put that shit up and heat it again, I'm going to pray twice. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say my grace the and first time. You've always been at that time. since you was young. All the time. I'm pr- I prayed when you gave me this water. Thank you. Really? Yeah, because everything, every, that shit don't just happen like that, man. That shit ain't, ain't no. If you think that, that's crazy. Okay, you know, humans, and I'm, I, I, well, I can't be in nobody else's mind, but a mm-hmm. lot of times we take things for granted, the small stuff. Yeah. We don't pray, you know, you pray every day, you pray when you wake up, you pray before you go to bed, you pray before you leave your house, mm-hmm. simple stuff. But somebody give you something like water, you not you, you say thank you, but a lot of times people don't be praying over, you know, daily small stuff. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about it. It's like, I'm going to tell you some simple shit. Like, when I used to be fucked up, and I used to, you know, I'm, I smoke weed heavy. So, it'd be time when a nigga got pounds of weed, and every time we see a nigga fucked up, nigga, you, boom, you ain't got nothing. But I, it's like, see, next time I give me some weed, I'm going to say that shit. I'm going to say something, make sure I got a bag put up. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like just being thankful. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just shit. I'm thankful for this water. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then I got to get on the road. Ain't no telling when we going to stop again. Yeah. So, yeah. Tell me, so tell me. Okay, so we, we all know, and you know, everybody on social media know what, because um, you partners with ESG, and we know mm-hmm. what he went through. And um, you had to, you were there by his side the whole thing. Yeah. How did that affect you mentally? Um, I mean, mentally, it just made me want to go harder. You know what I'm saying? To see somebody that's, Everybody look at it like he just elite to this game. You know what I'm saying? And really just knowing him right now, he can't accept the fact that it might be over. So, like I told him, we ain't going to worry about that because, see, we got music that's better than what a nigga even putting their heart into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we ain't going to worry about the music. Let's focus on the health. Mm-hmm. So when we focused on the health, you know what I'm saying? Got the spot, sit back, chill, you know what I'm saying? And really just start focusing on getting yourself better. You see what I'm saying? Because... As long as the body heal up, you're gonna be all right. And then the the, the way they, well, at the time they caught the cancer, it caught it in time. So if you sit back and let your body heal up, then you could be that man again. You see what I'm saying? But if you rush it, then we don't know what might happen. Yeah, because well, he's eager to get back out there and do his thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, anytime something happened with, uh, with him, with E, like when he had the episode when they said right. he had a relapse and he was mm-hmm. out there on the ground, mm-hmm. they, 
point the finger at you. Right. I'm being real. Right, right, right. Because right. people know y'all be so tight. Right. Like, and why he didn't stop that from happening? Right. What do you think when people say that? Okay, I'm going to say this. If I ain't there when it happened, what can I do? But people put you there in their mind because right. y'all together. Right. I'm telling right. you. Right. Right. No, that's Because cool. I get the calls. That's cool. So so I watch them take a piss and shit, too. I watch them shit shave and watch his ass. Nah, that ain't how it happened. Now, you got to make this make sense. If yeah. Anybody that know me and know him, you know what I'm saying? You know that ain't happening. Man, man, certain shit ain't even going around. You know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. even having all that. Like, even the nigga just lingering around with him, what you want? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like, some people can be a fan of you. Like, I tell them all the time, I'm not a fan of you. We friends in real life. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's like, I don't look at you the way people look at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I see when some people come around, they, they got to... A motive, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. your agenda is just, and you sticking to it. You don't know that I'm watching. Yeah, you like that's that's what most people don't understand. That when he bring me around people, I just sit back and watch. Like I'm not here to be your friend. You his friend. You know what I'm saying life too short to make another one. You know what I'm no, saying? I don't be can to make friends because half y'all not even a nigga friend. You trying to get close as you can to see what you can get out of the situation. I understanding that. When all this shit over, me and this nigga sit back and talk, man, nigga really done lost a lot of shit that he should already be way up here. That's real. You see what that's I'm saying? so real. So. In his mind, he's still here. You feel me? See, in my mind, you you there. But it's like, see, we got to go get it and put it in, in their face in the real way. So it's like that type of shit I try and keep away from because that you'll lose a lot of focus. You know what I'm saying? Believing this shit and, and these niggas that's around that really ain't who they say they is. Yeah, you 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 and him, y'all y'all y'all. Hold up, I want to stick to that topic okay. though because mm-hmm. you ahead. said people pinpoint some shit at me. It's like this because okay. It's- I'm staying on that topic, but I want to say something. Mm-hmm. Because one thing, when I saw that thing that day, and I know how close you are, right. I was one of those, not saying that in particular, but right. I'm like, I know you can't control, I don't know how many mm-hmm. people were there that day. Mm-hmm. And you can't control everybody. Mm-hmm. But in my mind, I'd be like, I would have grabbed everybody's phones. I would have like, I would have felt like mm-hmm. so protective. Like, that ain't finna try to get out nowhere. Yeah. I mean, like, right now, people might have it in their personal phone. You know what I'm saying? But it's nowhere on the internet no more because I, I went at everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even on the, on the ride to y'all, to the last interview, I was, like, in the midst of That's why you seen me probably in the background on my phone because that's what we was doing. Like, and everybody thing was, was, nah, man, you know, I'm just trying to, that's not showing no motherfucking love. No. You know what no. I'm saying? You trying to discredit a nigga. That's right. You feel me? That's like, real. At the end of the day, it's just somebody going through something like he told you, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine having everything and lose it all. That's what I'm that's telling what I'm you. Saying. I knew that when, when, when all this stuff started happening, I'm like, all mm-hmm. that stuff tied in together, man. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you really love E, first of all, I, nigga can't turn me no way anyway. Yeah, I'm yeah. too solid for that. That, that. that particular day that that took place, I, I wasn't around nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First off, you already know. Like, we ain't, we, they ain't our journey. We ain't on that. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm a true friend. Like, I damn near, we gonna fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. nigga, nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I just don't, I don't see it. Like, it's stopping too much of the process of where the fuck we going, what we doing. You see Correct. what I'm saying? So it's like, if you a nigga that'll come around with that shit, you ought to automatically know that I'm finna fuck you up and get you the fuck from over here. Yeah, you know what that's saying? real. So that's why, when nigga, oh, who you with, Sam? Nigga, I don't even wanna, man, you don't even wanna yeah, be around. Fuck him. And that's real. That's that's looking out for your partner mm-hmm. anyway, cause y'all together. Mm-hmm. Um, you, I'ma see. I'ma say this too though. A lot of them niggas be acting like whoop, but them niggas will see a nigga doing something, or you a nigga that's done did it with a nigga, and then because you ain't caught doing it or whoop, then you a part of the laughing campaign. Yeah, yeah. And nigga, I get I on these that. niggas' ass, man. No, no, I know. A that lot of these niggas know that I know. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. really, I just stick to the script, man, and make sure my partner's straight. But I, like I got that. a question like because that. why is it, what is it that you think that you've ever done or um, why everybody feel like they don't like you or they don't, you know? I mean, I, I would say. Probably because he's trying to hold it, it down. It, it's like, it's like I, I really can't say why you don't like a person. But if I would say in this situation, see, that my agenda is to get around somebody and, and hopefully I can, you know, see, become the best motherfucker they would like and make a hit record with them and do them. Them your dreams of being a rapper, nigga. That's you know what I'm real. saying? Like, nigga, that's your motherfucking dream. You know what I'm saying? You got a nigga who losing everything around this bitch. That's right. So it's like when this rap shit gone, you know what I'm saying? We ain't on no phone, nigga. We taking script like shit, regular people. So it's like, man, the fuck all that. No, you know what I'm saying? saying? I, and like I say, I wouldn't care who don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Life too short. I, I don't just, give a fuck. I know already that, that he got a lot of love for you. Like mm-hmm. he say, uh, when we was talking that he cried to you, you know, mm-hmm. because you his partner, you know. Right. And, and, and a lot of niggas, he ain't finna do that with because mm-hmm. he don't trust him mm-hmm. even. 
even put his heart out there mm-hmm. like that, man. So I, I love the fact that he do got somebody that, that that's rocking with him in that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, when you when you look at like today's uh, the rap scene, I just seen, you know last time I was down here, mm-hmm. Takeoff had just gotten uh, killed down mm-hmm. here. And the energy, you know, I was like, man, I'm going down there because I, I really, mm-hmm. like I said, I was focused on E anyway, and and a couple people I really like rock right. with. But for the for that to happen down here, that was crazy, man. Did you ever think something like that would even happen down here like that? I mean, I'm gonna say this: shit, shit, had, shit happened down here every day. It's just, it's just, it's just who it is. You know Correct. what I'm saying? So that's probably why I got. You know the attention they got, but shit, I got a homie shout out little Walter. You know what I'm saying? R.P. to my little homie, but shit, he died. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how yeah. could I look at somebody else deal bigger than I look at somebody I know? I don't know him. No disrespect correct, to him correct. and his family, but shit, niggas die every day. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened to be somebody of a bigger statue that a lot of people, you know, I guess like and love, but that shit happened out here in a worse way every day. Yeah, yeah, and and like I said, when when I seen it happen, I, I just know that a lot of the internet go crazy. That's what you see more than anything. Yeah. The internet goes stupid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but it's a lot of things when you start to look at like like Rico charges and stuff like that. Right. You that you seeing like 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 Young Thug and Gun and his whole they whole team going through, right. and and you know just local people around here or whatever, like like. How do you guys stay clear of all that stuff, man? I mean, you know, really just sticking to the script. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's an old way of doing shit. You know what I'm saying? That's always been that's the real. best way to do shit because the new shit is just trying some shit. You that's know what I'm saying? So that's kind of why when she asked about the culture, why this shit ain't going to go no motherfucker well? Because you got more copycats than you got originators. That's real. So, you know. It's just keep keeping it original, sticking to the script, you know what I'm saying? And, and what niggas get fucked up is getting on these drugs and then start doing everything other than what the fuck you were doing at first. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I so it's that. a way to get away with every goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Man, another on a lighter note, like man, where where nigga wanna get a, a meal? <laughs> like where can a nigga get a, a real solid meal in I this mean, city, man? You, know, you know, me personally, I just I'm say, asking you because I know you. You go to Mickey's Cafe, okay? Shout out to Mickey's. Uh, you know, I mean, depending on what you want some seafood. I mean, what you yeah. looking for? No. Soul food. Just, tomorrow, just go to Mickey's, man. Tomorrow, you go to Mickey's. Tomorrow, okay, go to Mickey's. Mickey's. You gonna get nice soul food. You know what I'm saying? Already got some. All got that some. greasy stuff. Man, don't talk about that food. All all that that I tell you that I didn't get a plate of. But uh, <laughs> you didn't get a plate of them. Nah. I thought you got some that day. I, was, I, I told you I was busy on the phone trying to get these people. No, to take you know what? I think internet. you gave away your plate that day to somebody else. Uh, Did you? Didn't you? Uh. Uh-uh. I'm telling you I what happened. Was when y'all was trying you to was feed trying me, to make sure I was I was busy trying to take right. care. Of, yeah, it was sorry. It was one dude just was like he wasn't gonna take it now. Nigga, we gonna come to Chicago and find your motherfucking ass. Nigga, what you talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that was, that that was my was, focus. I didn't know, even man. know that. So that was going he on during the time. Good. He said it was good. What? No, because that thing happened after. No, interview. it happened. He knew it was happening before we knew it was happening. Mm-mm. See, why? When did it happen? It didn't happen. It happened before the interview. Yeah. But he but was it keeping it, it down. Didn't come Look, out we did the afterwards. Isaiah, he did the Isaiah Carey interview in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? Like if you watching him, they in the back seat. So that happened. Like we did job interview, and then the next day we did the what's the name? Because that was the same weekend of his birthday. Right. See what I'm saying? So that was the same weekend. Like after like a week after that, they finally that next week in the hospital. For like wow. three months. Yeah. yeah, I seen. Like I said, my thing was, I'm just glad. Like I said, you got stuck down partner. And why y'all didn't know is because we was trying to keep it real. Keep it, yeah, yeah correct. It, yeah, because it hit the internet after that. Mm-hmm. That's when I saw it was after our interview. Yeah, so. you got people want to do the interview, and then I tell them like, nah, we ain't gonna do the interview because I feel like, what, well, well, fuck you, and that, man, that mean you wasn't, you feel me, from the heart, from the start, you know what I'm saying? Most niggas, like, they, it yeah. really, like I said, it was different for me and E because of the way our background is, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that, the, it's we a, just wanted to make sure he was good. No, I'm talking about as far as when we did the first interview, yeah, yeah. that yeah. because of our background, that's why I had Tony come up and all that color. Right, right. We really got history, right, right. Like certain niggas don't have history like right. that. And I think that's what make things different when you really been out here and you really know people and you right. really rock with people, you right. know. I think that's what make Boss Talk 101 different on the whole, really. Now, I can smoke weed and watch y'all all night. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Man, so we love you, baby, Sam. Doing? 
How y'all doing? Yeah. Man, shit, if y'all stop, then I'm going to have to find something else to watch. And I'm going to go on Instagram and talk shit about y'all. Man, I just dropped one while we were doing this. That's what yeah, I had yeah, to stop Yeah, that, well, that's my shit every night. I got y'all on there. It's going yeah, to pop up. I got y'all. I got the... um. Was uh, the other little dude? He from California. He be talking. I think his shit is on. Um, Cam Capone. Nah, it's the Ooh. other dude. He got the no dread. jumper. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, the big dude. Every I done seen him. He like a truck driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I truck. seen him. Yeah, I watch his shit too every day. That's yeah. hard. What do, you yeah. love, what do you love the most about our show? I love to hear because I want to hear what I'm y'all be think. real. Be real. That nigga just get <laughs> in the pocket of whatever the fuck going on, and it just be on the nigga he interviewing. <laughs> Like, he'll be being on some shit that's going on, but your ass is in the spotlight. So it's like, I just like to see what these niggas' reaction gonna be, and then they so get like, some real questions, yeah, right? Yeah, you ask some niggas some real shit, and I know them niggas be lying. They know some niggas be lying like a motherfucker. Yeah. But that's the thing I can't stand is that, okay, in reality, I always say that there's three sides to a story. Mm-hmm. I say it's your side, it's the other person that was involved, and mm-hmm. then there's the truth. And none of the sides are incorrect. Mm-hmm. You're, you just have a different perspective of what happened that day. Right. The other person have a different perspective because right. y'all gonna be biased because it's your, you know, whatever. And then there's somebody right. who's unbiased. There's their truth. Right. So you have a lot of people who be watching our show, and I'm sure this happens to everybody. And they be like, mm-hmm. man, that person lying. That person this. That person that. How you had this lying person on there? Da da da. All of that sort of stuff. But that's their truth. I mean. Your truth is a lie, then what the fuck you telling? It depends. Some people might be just totally lying, but some people might not. They're delusional. Man, listen, man. The one thing I can tell you is, man, Boss Talk 101 is yeah. open to you, man. Yeah. You can always pull up. Like, that's the one thing I, about I it. I like this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can pull up like yeah. other niggas can't pull up. It's yeah. a lot. You know, we not, like, I keep saying that we don't charge nobody to be on this show. You yeah. can't get on Boss Talk. Shit, at a hundred. Subscribers, no. <laughs> no. Nigga need to tap. You said need to start. I only, right? I only want who yeah. I want. I don't want everybody around me, uh, baby. You want Sam? me to tell you? Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna be real with you. That's why I watch your shit. Cause you don't just be with the bullshit. Like, I know I ain't gonna get on there and see Tim Buck two and twenty one. Yeah, now nah, I'm gonna see some real shit. You yeah, gonna be real yeah, people. Yeah, then right. all of that, you 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 open people's mind up to people that people don't even know. Correct. Like, some of the people you be having, I don't know, like boom, cause they open me up to the Dallas culture for real. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Some of those. I just kids, know yeah. know a few rappers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I yeah. pay attention to their little beefs, yeah. the beefs that they be having because. Um, I was on the real tune shit when he first okay, started doing okay, this shit. Yeah, shout out yeah. to real tune. Yeah, shout out to real tune. And um, you know, I just like watching that shit because it's like this: I go watch some bullshit, and then I be mad. Come like, back. That <laughs> shit wasn't even suspenseful. But it don't matter what it is, as long as it's reality, it's suspenseful like a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So that's my thing. And we nah. do that for every city too, because not just Dallas. We do it, you we know, we'll go to New Orleans you and be then we'll have travel. so you many be people in New Orleans yeah. that we try to we put out information. No, 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 I'm not, not I'm, that's not, what I'm, when I say Dallas, it's because a lot of people that y'all have on there from Dallas, I don't, no. be, I don't know them. So and you tapping in, okay, too. a nigga from Dallas? A lot, a lot of people, I've been thinking they're from other places. Really? Like, damn, a nigga from Dallas. Like, I think, I think the most important thing this year, man, is to make sure we bring mm-hmm. the right people on. Yeah. Pick the right people, like yourself, like E, yeah. like Powell, like Lil Runny, like Don Chief. I'm gonna keep certain niggas coming through. Yeah. And then, you know, sauce it up with a couple of extras, because it's a lot of people like, uh, I had uh, Al Sean, uh, Hey Sean, he, mm-hmm. he, yeah, Martin, he flew in from New York. Uh, he yeah. used to, yeah, yeah he, he used to be from well, LA, but uh, moved to New York, stuff like that. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a different conversation. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a different conversation. You know what I'm saying? Just coming from the gangbanging culture. Yeah. That's a different conversation. You know what but what at saying? the end like, of the day, to like. Be, to be all the way real, like the shit y'all was talking about with, with Charleston White. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got a DP for that shit. Like, I gangbanging in real life. Yeah, I got a DP for that shit. Just being in the video. You got a DP for that? Like, yes, yeah, a DP. When? It don't matter when, but it took place. <laughs> you know what Damn. I'm saying? And at the end of the day, that shit real. So it's like, least little thing you do. You gotta be on your toes with this shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? So, so you wow. didn't even know nothing about about his whole situation or nothing? As you far hadn't as him, even seen him on the internet. I'd watched him talk down on the gang culture. So it was like, when I see him, I'm gonna have to, you know, but it's like, just this whole shit was bad. Just being there, period. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So if you if you're on video with him right there, you should have had a video of you checking the nigga. So that's kind of oh. how it went. So it just, you know, DP. Wow, no, and I get it. We trying to learn by DPs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we had, yeah, some yeah. people had come on that Crip had, Mac. It yeah, was Crip Mac a long yeah. time ago. We had 
Luke, so, but I'm gonna tell you when you go to this West Coast, man, you speak on this shit because that dude name you just said is is people you can go holler. At, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, it's a homie who you know finna do some shit on the movie scene. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You go check out R R R Reggie Cole. Yeah. Gumby. Well, I'm from Nine Deuce. You got some shit going on. You know what I'm saying? You, so, it's, it's crazy because you from Houston down here, but you, you I remember really you tied into in the, yeah, into the really, LA culture yeah, really, as well. Really, That's really. what I wanted to know. Yeah. Uh, like, okay, for you to be a native of Houston, mm -hmm. and you said he's tied into LA, but what's the difference between LA gang life compared mm -hmm. to Houston gang life? Totally because different. Because the thing is that, I've always heard you ask that question about mm -hmm. the do respect you think level. the do you think the LA gangs respect like Houston Houston or Dallas gangs or any other because a lot of times we feel that they think that we copying or that they copying them and they're not really who they supposed to be. I'm gonna say this: if you from motherfucking Michigan and you went play for the LA Lakers, does that mean you're not an LA Laker when you motherfucking uh, the team come get you? Now you with the money. You're LA Lakers, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Now, your understanding on the fundamental of basketball that they playing, you have to learn their game. Right. So you can either go over there and play for the LA Sleekers, you feel me? And you may think you are LA Laker, but that's not actually what's going on. So I'm gonna just keep it short and simple. When 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 the ball was more so in my hand to figure out Okay, is this shit the right way or the wrong way? I would, I just went and figured it out. Shout out to OG Chim Chim, you know what I'm saying? I'm okay. big homie. Shout out to Chim Chim. Mm -hmm. So I went out there on like a two day trip. I was on like a, a bus and uh, I got out and uh, shit, nigga just dropped me straight off in the set. And shit, you know, I just met the right people who I need to meet, you know what I'm saying? And from there, I always go back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Tap into the set, we'll bring it back to culture, show the homies the right way to do certain shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like just doing the shit the right way. Cause I feel like if you wanna be a part of something, you know what I'm you saying? You need to know the right way. Right, because what you asked is the number one reason that when the ball was in my hand, I didn't want to be one of them, them cats that was like, man, y'all just woo, 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 but that's not really the truth. So. Can you say it's different, but how is it different LA culture, LA gangs mm -hmm. compared to like Houston gangs? The, the way they living. I'm gonna say this, like I was just telling my homies the other day, we can't just hang out outside you know what I'm saying? The LA then can't just hang out outside. For one, it ain't just about the enemies. It's most about the police that pull up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Just yeah. fuck with you. See, we can walk down the streets of Houston all day. Police ain't gonna fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, you just on some weird shit. But out there, it's just, hey, at least a little thing you can, you know what I'm saying? So, you, like, how we could ride with 10 out here and like shit like that? They can't. They gotta, you know, 10, you know what I'm saying? Your windows gotta be down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, it's just a crazy way of living. So, just imagine if you got 10 on your windows and your window down a little bit, but then the enemy goes like right behind you a little, you know what I'm saying? So, now you, it's like, a, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But out here, you could ride and nigga never know who they riding on the side mm -hmm. of. Them. So, wow. And then not only that, like, see, they, they really, like, they, the, it, it's a school, I mean, it's, it's, it's just too much to talk about, but it's real. Just say, real. just put it like that, it's real. I mean, it's, it's still real in Houston. Don't get it fucked up, but as far as the way it originated, I, I'ma just put it like this. It's like saying the slab culture, right? And then you go on to another state, state or city and then you asking them about it. When they come to Houston, how how is it different from there to there? Well, shit, it originated there, so it's everything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just feel like if you don't tap into your originated, your originators, your ancestors of this culture, then see what you're doing. Yeah, we had somebody come on here and they told us the whole history mm -hmm. of what they felt. Of that, exactly, of what they felt. Mm -hmm. on, the, on the Hoovers. Uh, the let's gang. speak on that shit. Now, on so the the Let's speak on this Uber shit. Is. Who is it? It, it, it was um, uh, Trouble. Trouble, trouble fame, fame Psycho. Psycho. Trouble Fam Psycho. Okay, that's my homie. Do you homie. know? Yeah, yeah, that's, okay. my, that's my homie. Because he, he talked about where it came from. Came from. That's how um, well, it was his mama was in it and he was yeah. born in it right. and all of that sort of stuff. I, and, yeah, I enjoyed his interview too okay. because he, he really was like telling... I felt like I never would have thought none of this stuff he was saying. Mm -hmm. He was really breaking it down to me like, they know. If I go to L.A., they know. And they, they like, we really rock with certain situations mm -hmm. and certain things mm -hmm. to where each one of us lock in. Can we ask mm -hmm. if, you, if, if, if all these gangs have a list of names? <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah. Of, he just had me going. What you mean? How are you sure? Okay, you recruited some people. You have some people. Mm -hmm. But then, because y'all got to check in. So this person going to L.A., 
and they finna hang up, but they gotta check oh, see, in see, with that, whoever. See, that, that term is fucked up. The check in shit. Okay. That shit sound that bad. Well, but I mean, it is what it is. But we use the term tap in. Tap you know in, check in. Yeah. The same yeah. thing. Yeah. It's not the same thing. Okay. Because I feel like checking in, give it more of a nigga don't know you, bitch. You better check in. Tapping in is more of connecting with your people. You when know what I'm saying? Like so that, that's that's more of what I what, what I, how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Checking in is more of a derogatory term. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, nigga, who the fuck are you? But tapping in, you know what I'm saying? Just tapping in with your people. You know what I'm saying? It's it whatever you make it. But I don't, I ain't fucked up about the term checking in because shit, if that's what it got to happen, it got to happen. But shit, there's no when you're on my turf, we're going to do the same shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's all. Do you, when you see these rappers and stuff uh, getting taken out like but that? I took, I, took, I took Psycho to LA. You know what I'm saying? To you the did? City. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I told you that's my homie directly. That's hard. Yeah, that's my homie. Yeah. I'm, you know, I talked to B King last night. Yeah. Because he, he was telling me about certain people I need to interview up here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, or, or I was asking about certain people, yeah. And he was just—I was asking him how he was doing because you know they—they right. they rock with each other. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Man, he doing good, man." I was like, "I may need to interview him." He like, "No, I got to be there. You, you can't interview him without me being there." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he he gonna cut up, boy. I love that little nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah. I lock into a real one, yeah. I like that street stuff, man, because I come from it. Mm-hmm. So I be really right. I be like mm-hmm. rocking with the ones who really like the yeah. one the most trouble. That's yeah, well, where I'm at well, with you it. Had, you had a for so true Hoover on here. So. <laughs> the I only thing I don't like about it. a lot of these gangs and stuff like that yeah. is you don't have a lot of order in in gangs. So in you don't have gangs. a lot of order when when I say that, hold everybody on. Everybody trying hold to on, be the on. man. Hold on, because then when you think about, okay, mm-hmm. I watch a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing about these gang stuff. Just <laughs> let y'all know where my camera is. I don't mm-hmm. know nothing, right? It's just <laughs> what I see in movies or right. maybe what I hear from certain people. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, when I think about organizations, whether in Jamaica, here, whatever, yeah, I think about, okay, you have a head. Right. They have a whole neighborhood, gang, um, community, whatever that they control. You have other soldiers under them, but they make sure everything order is in, you know. Right. They might war against this other gang or this other area, right. but everything in their neighborhood or their gang, there's no violence in their gang. There's no nothing because there is consequences to that. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like how you call about DP, but they have mm-hmm. other names for it different places, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Meaning like, say Hoover. Right. You can't rob from another Hoover or else right. there's a problem. Right. On Hoover, your ass in trouble. Exactly. Or you can't rape nobody who's On it. Hoover, your ass getting kicked off the seat. Exactly. So, um, but in, you don't have that in every single. Yeah. Nah. You know, because there's no order. But then at the same time, I'm, I'm, everybody's I'm say, supposed to know the history of it. Everybody yeah. needs to know where it comes. Because yeah. if you don't know the history, you can't know the rules, the regulations right. and Abide by certain now, things. Now, that go to this right here. Like what I say, when it, when, it, when, it, when it was time for me to, to dribble my ball, mm-hmm. I didn't, I wasn't one of these dudes that just said, fuck it, we're going to go with what I think. Now, I went to really figure out what's really real because I got people that's going to look up to me and if I'm selling them the wrong shit, then I'm out of pocket. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So, it's like, if you got the structure down and then everything doing what it's supposed to do, then it's like, see, you know, you're just doing it by the rules of the game. You know what I'm saying? There's rules to everything you play. So you, it, it, it's really just like this. If I met you and you had 20 homies, well, I'm not trying to meet your 20 homies, right? Because for one, that's going to take your power because I know more than you know and who they're going to believe. See me? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to come to you and give you the game. Now, you take that back to 20 people, right? So now... You got power right there to do what you need to do, and now that's understood. Now the thing is, is how much more do you know? You feel me? So from there, do you seek to go get some more understanding, or do you just hide that little shit right there and feel like you somebody? And see, that's what mm-hmm. shit be getting fucked up because mm-hmm. you could have met the president. So now they gonna brag on you meeting the president, and then you can go lie and say, "Oh yeah, I got another meeting with him next mm-hmm. week," and then we gonna and that shit never happened. You see what I'm saying? So it's like misleading some niggas. You know what Man. I mean? So that's real. I just feel like it's nothing wrong with knowing the right shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't make you less of a person because you had to go figure some shit out. You know Let's what I'm get saying? back to the music right quick. Who do you think the hardest uh, little young nigga coming up down here? Little young cat. Young. Um, Give him that shout out. I love to get them young uh, niggas riled up. We say young. 
Uh, you might not know nobody. Nah, I ain't gonna nah, say I don't know nobody. Know he said, he said, he said, yo, like this hard, coming up, young and hard. Yo. Um, that you listen to? I'm gonna say a nigga that slept on the D Raw. D Raw. D Raw. Did we 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 interviewed? Did we interview D Raw? Slept on. Um, That's hard. Stunner bound. Stunner bound. Yeah, we didn't get a super chance hard. to interview him. Nah, no, we super didn't. Super hard. The, the, me and Carl. Talk, I, I talked to Carl. So super hard. Um, then uh. I mean, you got a you got a bunch of young cats. You know, I got the homie. Um, I got a homie Tron that's rapping. You know, okay. but I don't want to be biased, so that's why I'm not right. saying, really saying I'm you don't my people. You miss out anybody because yeah. like, man, you could have yeah. called my name. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's it, out of those, just those those two people that I feel like they being slept on right now. Wow, man, I, thank you, man. Hold on, we gotta talk about current affairs real quick. Uh -oh. You know how Kanye West just had yeah. got married, as they man, said. He should have married her first. Yeah. Why? You she think was, she, she, she is but, okay. fine. But hold on, but hold on. When I saw a glimpse yep. of her, she I been working with him for a minute, too. I thought she was, I thought, it was I thought he went back home, but then I looked again and said, nah, nigga went across the street. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But somebody wonder, already though, knew, too. But I want, because she worked for Yeezy. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, was he dipping in hey. that when that was going on? Hey, what is that? Don't do that. Hold on, what is that? Yeezy 360. It might turn to 360. That's what women be like. Okay, yeah, you're right. Now, this is the question. Now, this is the question. Is that a BBL or natural? Yeah. I think it's natural. I think it's natural. That's what really I want to know. Yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm saying that. I'm I think. Mm -mm. Leave her alone. They mm -hmm. said the Kardashian the deflated. Yeah, she, she took her out. out. She goes out. So, the you know what? For the main fact, she had it in when she was with him. I mean, that anybody who might have been with him have to have it Why in. Why are you too? trying to trip on nah. Kanye? That ain't right. Because you got to remember, she had that before him. That's right. She had that before him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. But that may have been what attracted him to her. We ain't gonna say that because she had that before him. And then this other thing might be natural. Then I, the first little date they showed when he popped back outside, they looked like they just went around the corner real quick. He came up <laughs> you know missing for a week. Nobody knew where yeah. he was at. That's and when he got married and had the honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah. He so. kicking it. He kicking it. And I think, I, and people don't realize this, but it looks better on paper when you're married anyway. When you're trying to get yeah, your kids, yeah. think about that. Program. Yeah, yeah. He know that. Yeah, you got yeah. you got a mama there. There you go. So he's yeah. making sure that he got that look. That not, happened real quick. Not, though. Let's not say that's his agenda because he might really like her. <laughs> he probably okay. do. So do you think she signed him papers to make sure? Oh, of course, she can't of course. Yeah. Because uh, you got to make sure two things. She don't want her money to get took by. That's uh, right. Oh, Cause he be tripping, and then you gotta make sure that you know, hey, he ain't, she ain't leaving with his. You That's know? right. He did the same thing to the first. Well, I, ain't gonna, I don't know if that was his first wife, but Kardashian. He did. That's that. all I'm gonna say. Is, uh, Kardashian, you know. she got some money, didn't she? Got some money. I mean, in South she, are, she, she already had no, that bread. She, she already, already had, had her own she bread. That bread. I know, but still, he had way more. Man, go on with that. I mean, that. I don't know the more and the more, but yeah, yeah. we gonna do the prenup to say the less. You know That's saying? right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, how can people get a hold of you, baby? Hey, man, it's B-A-B-Y-S-A-M underscore 52 on Instagram. I'm man. Baby Sam everywhere. I'm on all platforms. TikTok. I'm in the street. TikTok is Baby Sam. It's the same as my Instagram. Man, thank you. I for try and keep everything the same way. Thank you for rocking with us, man. Yeah, yeah. I hope you. I hope we keep you keep you enthused and keep dropping them video. We, be, we got a bunch of bangers coming. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yours yeah. now, yours, on, yours got, getting pushed up the got, list. We got, we got this new single, me and ESG called No Money, man. So if you broke, you know what I'm saying, your partner broke, you just, you know, hey, man, this here gonna motivate you to get some money, man. That's mm -hmm. hard, man. Like, like I said, I, I'm, I'm gonna be, and it's out now. It's out right now. All right, what so you wanna leave your fans to thing. remember, man? Just always remember, man. Listen, man, when you feel like you don't know. Just always pray on whatever you feel like you don't understand, and understand it gonna come together. Cause if I would've knew that this was my 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 reason for living a long time ago, I'd already attacked this shit. So it's like you could be going in the wrong direction for a long time, feeling like that's what you're supposed to do, but not knowing. So sometimes you just got to put it in God's hands. Man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank okay. you for bringing E up to the store too, man. I ain't yeah. forgot. I'm watching yeah. everything, yeah. man. Yeah. Everything that's going on, I'm watching it, bro. Yeah. I know I already God ain't put us together for no reason, man. So yeah. thank you so much for rocking out with us, man. It's been another 
great segment. You heard yeah, me say man. that before. Hey, y'all subscribe to Boss Talk, God <laughs> damn. Damn, we trying to go yeah. to a million. This, hey, this is going to be the new, what they call it, million dollar of a game, uh, the breakfast club, all that. We going in. We the new something. We, I ain't comparing man, us to nothing being else. being the new, man. We is what it is, and this is going to exactly. go to the south. Right? Exactly. You ain't got to be the new nothing, nigga. This the originator, Boss Talk, God damn it. Thank you, you know so saying? much, man. That's what it I is. I just always try to pay homage to them, man, yeah, because they were before that. us. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but this right here is a competition. <laughs> When you got a hundred K subscribers, this you just talk a little different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we got like, no, we man, get a sound, man. Because I'm really finna go downstairs and look at that hundred K. Yeah, hard. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. to know that we can't got it from nothing, yeah. like just no started, advertisements, no nothing. nothing, just out the mud, man. And I, I think that's hard. A lot of people don't know about marketing. You yeah. got the right product, don't know how to market it. It ain't shit. That's hard. That's hard. Thank you so much, man. We love you, baby Sam. For sure, man. I appreciate man, y'all. Is going down, I love man. y'all, man. Y'all be cool, man. man. It's good. I watch y'all every day. Man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out. Man. All right.